What's up guys, I'm finally making an updated response to my body transformation video. And so today I'm gonna to be going over exactly what I did for my diet, my workouts, my supplements, and what I'm currently doing today to keep in shape. Firstly, I just wanna let you guys know I've always been in somewhat decent shape. I started working out on and off the beginning of college, and when I graduated, I got a full-time office job in a cubicle, so I sat on a computer and worked all day. I still somewhat ate healthy and tried to work out as much as I could with my full-time job, and at the beginning of 2017, I started working on a huge video project for my mom that took an additional 20 to 30 hours to do per week, and this lasted for nine months. During that time, I basically gave up on eating healthy and going to the gym. I got super stressed and then I wasn't active at all and then I ate out fast food most of my meals. So at the start of 2018, I knew I had to make a change. I literally couldn't fit into any of my office clothes. Uh, I got winded in the morning, no joke, putting my socks on. So I decided for three months, I was going to commit 100% to working out six days a week, cooking every single meal, no excuses, no alcohol, and then also I took daily pictures for a little extra motivation. So I will say this transformation was definitely to the extreme, and it probably wasn't the healthiest losing that much weight that fast, but I did learn a ton along the way. So I think the biggest thing for me that helped with my transformation was my diet. I had no idea how big of an impact diet made until I started eating correctly. I didn't even know what macros were, which now I know are your total fats, carbs, proteins that make up your total daily calories. I think during my transformation, I was eating anywhere from about 2,200 calories at the start to about 1,600 when I ended. So I basically stuck to a super strict, somewhat boring diet. Now I definitely didn't have to make it boring, but I was kind of lazy when I'm cooking, so I didn't mind eating the same stuff every day. Um, basically, I would just cook oven chicken like twice a week, shove it in Tupperware, I'd bring that to work. I'd also cook a lot of brown rice or I would buy Uncle Ben's ready rice, uh, which you can microwave for 90 seconds. Highly recommend. Um, I ate a lot of veggies, salads, oatmeal, eggs, almonds, Greek yogurt, stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to a Google Docs spreadsheet for free that you guys can check out for a sample day of kind of what I ate. Now workouts were a pretty basic format. Um, I would do five days a week of weighted workouts. So for example, Monday chest, Tuesday legs, Wednesday back, Thursday shoulders, Friday arms, and then Saturday would be my additional kind of cardio slash abs day. Um, I would only spend maybe an hour and 20 minutes max in the gym every day. I would also do maybe 15 to 20 minutes of cardio directly after a weighted workout, either on the incline treadmill or the Stairmaster. I've got a few example workouts on my channel currently. I also post a lot on Instagram as well, so check that out. And I've got a lot more workouts coming soon on this channel. Now supplements are such a huge controversial topic when it comes to the fitness industry and especially transformations. So let me go ahead and get a question out of the way that I see all the time in my comments and that is, did I do steroids? The answer to that is no, absolutely not. Nor do I plan on doing steroids or anything like that ever. So the supplements that I did take and still take today are just a few basic ones. Um, I took a multivitamin, I took whey protein, I took creatine HCL, which basically is just a type of creatine that you don't have to worry about cycling or water bloating. Um, and then I also took BCAs, so branch chain amino acids. Um, I would mix that with water during the day and then drink it throughout a workout. Um, and then lastly, pre-workout, which I would sometimes take that. Um, I'm a little biased because I don't think you should have to rely on pre-workout to get through a workout. Um, on days when you're feeling sluggish, I would take it, but I don't wanna ever become dependent on it. So most of the time I would have a little coffee before a workout. Supplements in my opinion are definitely not necessary, but if you're having a healthy diet and you're working out consistently, they can help you make progress quicker. If you don't take any of those supplements, I would definitely recommend at least whey protein, at least one protein shake after you work out. So I'm still hitting the gym about five to six times a week. I'm doing the same kind of five day weighted workout split, as well as eating about 26 to 2,800 calories a day to kind of just maintain where I'm at right now. So lastly, I wanted to let you guys know that I did come out with my own fitness ebook. Um, basically, it details exactly what I did during my transformation and still currently do. I update it monthly. Um, it's got a bunch of workouts, meal plans, supplements, all that stuff, um, and I made it available for only $20. I'm tired of seeing in the fitness industry all this BS and all this spam and they charge you hundreds of dollars for a program, and that's just unnecessary. And just for people seeing this YouTube video, if you guys type in the coupon code HHOBS with three Zs, you're gonna get 25% off that $20. So it's gonna be a $15, 49 page ebook. So check it out. 
Be sure to hit me up on Instagram where I'm super active and can answer any questions as well as comments on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.